Hey everyone, Chris here with High Seas Cruising. In today's video, we're going to answer the question, should you get a passport before you take a cruise? So do you even need a passport in order to take a cruise? And the answer is both yes and no, depending on the type of cruise that you want to take. So you can take what's known as a closed loop cruise. And you can do that with just a birth certificate and a government issued ID, such as your driver's license. An example of a closed loop cruise would be you depart from Miami, visit the Caribbean, and then of course return back to your port of origin, which would be Miami. And this type of cruise can be done with just a birth certificate and government issued ID. Now, the birth certificate does need to be an original or certified copy, no photocopies, and you will also need any proof of a name change, such as a marriage certificate or court document. Now, the issue of traveling with just a birth certificate is while yes, you can use it for a closed loop cruise, what you can't use it for is if you have to fly back to the United States for any type of emergency. So if you get sick, injured, you miss your ship for any reason, your birth certificate is not a valid form of ID to allow you to fly back from an international airport back into the United States. You would end up having to make arrangements through the local consulate or through the State Department to get the proper ID in order to fly home. This can sometimes take days or weeks to get done, and it's at your expense while you're waiting. They're not going to put you up in a hotel or anything like that. That's going to be on you. So that is definitely one of the serious disadvantages of just traveling with a birth certificate. Now, there are two forms of U.S. passports. You have the passport card and you have the passport book. Now, the passport card can be very convenient to have. It's small size, about the same size as a driver's license, so it very easily just fits right into your wallet. However, the passport card is only valid for land and sea crossings between the United States, Canada, Mexico, and the Caribbean, and it still can't be used for any international air travel should an emergency happen. Now, the passport book is good for all forms of travel all cruise, flights, and any type of international travel. And both the passport book and the passport card are both good for 10 years. So you can go to the official passport website, which I have placed a link for in the description below, to get additional information, start your application process, and see the passport cost. Routine processing for a passport right now is taking about 10 to 12 weeks. Um, it costs a hundred and ten dollars for the passport book, thirty dollars for the passport card, or a hundred and forty dollars to have both, plus a thirty-five dollar activation fee. Now, just me personally, I have both. I use my passport uh, when I first check in. To the cruise lines there at the cruise terminal I use it to get through customs and then I lock it up into my safe in my cabin and when I get on and off the ship you still have to have a form of ID along with your room key and that's what I use the passport card for and I also use the passport card for flying domestically here in the United States it works better than a driver's license and it also doesn't have any of your personal information on it, like your address and things like that, but it still counts as a valid form of government issued ID. So should you get a passport? In my opinion, yes, you absolutely should. Just because it is good for all forms of travel. It's good for 10 years. And yes, it can be a bit expensive with upfront costs in order to get it, but it does provide peace of mind knowing that you can always get home in the event that something happens and you don't have to wait for your ID to be proven. So our question this week for the comments is going to be, which do you prefer to travel with? Do you prefer the passport? Do you prefer the birth certificate? 
Which one do you like best? Leave your comment below. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let's give it a thumbs up. Let's hit that subscribe button. Hitting that button is free and it does help our channel continue to deliver content for you on a weekly basis. And we will see you out on the high seas.